it's Rhea Vegan bringing you the top vegan news of the week. Subscribe for daily content from all the bitches. It's a great week to be vegan just like every other week. First up, celebrity news. NFL football player Tom Brady with wife Giselle and three children are all raw vegans. Months ago, Tom has released a $200 recipe book called Nutrition Manual that sold out before its release and features avocado ice cream, among other raw vegan creations. This week, Tom has offered an organic, gluten-free, raw vegan 12-pack of snacks for sale at $50 per box, which included nuts and fruit-flavored energy bars. Much too expensive for most at under two ounces per snack. We hope all of Tom's fans follow his lead into a healthier, whole foods, plant-based, vegan lifestyle. Good news! Today, the manual and box of snacks are back on sale on his website. Check them out if you're interested. Like Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers, whose mascot is a piece of cheese, doesn't eat cheese. The scandal was great. The cheese heads were raging. Aaron, we're glad you stood your ground and did the best for your body and the planet. Also, controversial and super awesome, San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick announced that he and his girlfriend Nessa have gone vegan. What's going on with NFL players? They're all going vegan and it's awesome. More celebrity news. Oprah urges her 33 million followers and viewers to go vegan. Well, at least once a week. Oprah interviewed President of the Humane Society of the United States, Wayne Passell, on the Oprah Winfrey Show's Super Soul Sunday this past weekend to discuss the connection of humans to animals. Oprah said his book, The Humane Economy, How Innovators and Enlightened Consumers are transforming the lives of animals, for raising her awareness about the connection between animal suffering and human consumption. That's all for the top vegan news of the week with Rhea Vegan. Return tomorrow for fresh content from those vegan bitches. See you guys next week. Crates of live chickens flew off the back of a moving truck and right onto the doorstep of a Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant outside of Melbourne, Australia.